Hi guys, Glenn Scott from the Outdoors here uh, and another video about home defence systems. So uh, those of you that watched my last one, it was about air pistols, uh, anything from an airsoft gun, pellet guns, BB guns, all the way up to a blank firing pistol. Uh, and I did say on that video that actually the blank firer was probably the best for home defence. However, since then, I've discovered something new. So please stick around, watch the video, see what you guys think. So on this video, I'd like to uh, share with you my new purchase, which is the Umarex HDR 50 cal home defense revolver. Uh, these are actually a really nice piece of training equipment that are designed to help you train to use a real firearm. However, they're also used for paintball markers. Uh, what I have discovered is that they're actually too powerful for most paintball ranges. So I think personally, the design use is definitely for home defence. Uh, pretty cool. It is made out of polymer, so it's a, a plastic firearm. All the bookings inside, including the barrel, are all metal. But the key to one of these HDRs is the fact that you can leave it gassed up and ready to go. Gas cylinder in the bottom, like you do with most pistols, and load it, ready to go in case you need it in an emergency. Now, the way they've got around this is by holding the canister, the CO2 canister in there, and only when you need to use it, does it punch you. As soon as you punch that canister, it's ready for use. So it won't destroy your seals, it won't leak gas, it won't have any issues, and, uh, and then when you've obviously pierced the canister, it's ready to fire the rounds. Now as for rounds, most people think that the kind of rounds are only got to come in paintballs. No, you can get pepper balls, you can get these which are a nylon, a nylon ball, so it's almost like a, solid version of the paintball. It's a solid nylon ball uh, and these are definitely going to do some damage when fired from one of these 50 cal HDRs. So let's see how it shoots, let's see what it's all about. I'll give you a bit more in-depth run through of the gun in just a second. Right guys, so let's take a closer look at the Uberx HDR 50 cal revolver. Uh, as most Umarex does, it comes in a box with a nice instruction manual which tells you everything you need to know about uh, how to maintain the gun, ammo to use, etc, etc. Uh, the gun itself is a polymer bodied gun, makes it a nice weight without being too heavy. Uh, metal insides for the barrel and all the workings. Uh, safety on the trigger, there is no other safety on the gun but on the trigger, but for a home defence revolver that's pretty much a standard thing, you don't need anything more than the safety of the trigger uh, and the really cool bit about these that makes them different from any other uh, pistol I've used is this mechanism here so you load your CO2 canister into there and you can tighten up to it and leave it sat in the gun now most uh, most air pistols that I've used you don't leave your CO2 in the gun because it destroys your seals it leaks gas it's just not done so with these they came up with a, a nice little spring loading mechanism that once you strike the bottom of it actually pierces the canister so you can leave the canister inside not doing any harm so let's put a canister in so I've got a uh, 12 gram CO2 here and uh, unusually on these it actually loads upside down so it loads that way in screw in the cap now as per instructions the first few times that you do this it does tell you to nick it up with the allen key and then after that it doesn't seem to matter see that's quite tight anyway it doesn't seem to matter so now even though seal 2 loaded it will not fire it will not use seal 2 until i strike that with a pan in my hand or strike it on the table or the floor and then this little button here this little pin will pop out to show you that there's seal 2 in there uh, and the last thing to do then is to use this little mechanism here which releases your ammo container so again with it being rotary you'll have seen this system on other uh, pistols before maybe not in 50 cal works really well so uh, usually load from the back so I've got some rubber 50 cal balls here and I'm loaded from the back so they're just held in by friction six shot revolver so we might as well load all six balls in there bob it back in the gun 
as you can see it's got the little mechanism that catches to turn uh, so it's like a two stage trigger it will actually turn for you lock it back in and we are now pretty much ready to go so there's six shots in there co2 in there uh, but yeah it's not gassed it's not going to fire anything uh, until we actually strike it so i can keep this at the side of the bed i can keep it wherever i need it should anybody break into the house at night i uh, want to give them a bit of a fright and potentially if they're armed i may use this against them so one strike will uh, will enable the co2 gas to then shoot them with the bullets and trust me i mean these aren't the hardest ones you can get these are just made out of solid rubber you can get these which are stainless steel ball bearings covered in rubber uh, you can also get pepper balls etc etc but uh, I would pretty much say that a 50 cal round coming flying towards you is enough to frighten anybody off especially in the UK so I'll be back shortly giving this uh, a few test shots and see what you think so guys straight in the box first time it's been fired the Umarex HDR home defense revolver 50 cal uh, as you can see even though I've got a gas cylinder in there it's still not ready to shoot and I've, uh, I've put my rubber 50 cal balls in there which are multi-use so I can recover them and use them again so for this purpose I'm going to be shooting into a cardboard box so it's got more cardboard inside to catch the, uh, catch the rubber balls so let's see what happens so if I strike on the bottom now gas is up you can see the little pin just pops out there with the red uh, seal on it so that means we are now gassed which means it's ready to shoot so let's have a look so let's take a shot into the cardboard box very windy day today two stage first stage loads ball for that straight in no worries very accurate as well second round of shots going in uh, just found that it will actually pierce through about three layers of cardboard and the packaging tape that's on there as you can see it's a very windy day today so uh, my uh, one of my sheets that stops pellets from hitting other things is kind of getting in the way a little bit but I've got another four shots to take so let's have a look at what I can hit so very very accurate I'm going to aim towards the middle now Move. So you get a click on the first stage of the trigger, which rotates the chamber. And a nice, good, good, solid release of the uh, the ball. Shoots extremely, extremely well. And that should be it, that should bring me out. Yep. Let me have a look. I said, so, it's got a little bit wet, this cardboard. Let me have a look inside. Yeah, it pierces not just the outer layers. The inner layers of the cardboard that I put in there. Let's see, three, four, five. Looks like one might have gone astray. But still, if I've got five to reuse, that's way better than uh, paintballs. So I'll try and find the other ones that have gone astray. But absolutely fantastic, brilliant shooting. 